Hi, I'm Sage. Hi, I'm Anna Blanca. Welcome back to the Addictive Wellness Channel. It's a special edition for Valentine's Day, part three. Love chocolate, body painting. Whoop, Whoa, whoop, whoop. we probably have too much clothes on for really this activity, but we're gonna give kind of an intro lesson that is acceptable for the general YouTube viewing audience. Exactly, so our love chocolate is an aphrodisiac, heart-opening, delicious, wonderful experience. But it's Valentine's Day, so let's get creative, let's get exciting and have a bit of an adventure, right? Chocolate is the natural highest source of magnesium. Now, magnesium, you can get dietarily, but it absorbs very well transdermally. So, Ooh. how about that? How about that? The only one trick is how you're going to melt it. Even if you don't have a double boiler, it's super easy. There is one pot and put a bit of water there, put in a very low heat, put another one on top and put the chocolate in there. Or if you even just have one pot and then you have like a measuring cup, something with that curved handle that can hook over the edge of your initial pot. You fill it up and then put that in there hanging over the edge. Um, and that's how you're going to melt the chocolate without getting it too ball. hot. If you put the chocolate in a pot and put that right on the flame, it gets too hot because it's not going to you know, boil away. But if you do it on the water, you're controlling the maximum temperature that it can actually reach. So, exactly. And then just melt the chocolate gently. Put it in something. I have a little, little cutest little glass. What is this? Glass jar, whatever. And... You can go ahead and use one of your old makeup brushes if you don't want to use it anymore, or just, yeah, just go wash it first because, like, yes, yes, this, yes exactly. It's going on your skin, which is where makeup goes. Yeah, but this may get to the point of uh, the mouth <laughs> on the skin and the tongue on the skin. So, you know, yes, exactly. Make sure it's all food grade. Or just go into uh, an art supply store, buy a new one, wash it, dry it, and then you're ready to go. Right. So you can surprise your partner with something very sexy in every single way. Give me your arm. I'm going to show a demonstration. So this is love chocolate and this is a brush. All right. Okay, I am not very original. I'm just painting little hearts. But it can be really up to you what you are going to paint on your love. Should we go put this on there? <laughs> Show me the cover. Upside down, honey. <laughs> Upside down hearts. Well, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> there you go. I'm getting flexible for you guys. It's going to be... Uh, okay, you know what? Pressure's on. I didn't really plan out anything to do here. <laughs> getting a feel for it. It feels really nice. I'm trying to guess what you because I, I can't really look no, down anymore. <laughs> Should have taken the pointy end of the brush. You know what? I wasn't even expecting it to feel so lovely. It feels lovely? Oh my god, you're writing my name! Yeah. Okay, hold on, it's on upside down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not very creative here, but. In private, we might be writing and drawing something different. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful, honey. So we both managed to do this thing completely upside down for the camera. So it's very uncomfortable to try to show you, but you guys get the general idea. It feels wonderful. Best done without clothes on because I'm really a little concerned this is going to get on the clothing now. Yes. So what I was trying to say, it tastes wonderful, feels wonderful, and once you lick it off... Let me see if yours tastes as good as mine. Yours tastes even better. What do you know? It's got, it doesn't have arm hair in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy Valentine's Day, guys. Hope you like all our silly ideas. And we really hope you're going to try this out on Valentine's evening. Enjoy and have fun. Play safe with the chocolate. <laughs> I've been waiting all my life for someone like you.